Without a doubt, the Great Pyramid is the most mysterious place on Earth. It sits out in plain sight, totally dominates the landscape, and has been constantly documented throughout history as civilizations arose and fell around about this ancient marvel. You would consider that when you consider this, then there must be at least a few clues as to what this place was designed for, but there's not. We don't know in this day and age exactly what the pyramid is. There is plenty of theories flying around and the power plant theory is probably the best one. But even at that, it was not the original purpose. When the Great Pyramid's design was envisioned, the engineers saw way into the future. They built a warning system in that of the astronomical clock at the Giza Plateau, but also used this as an opportunity to build a power plant. This is, of course, just another theory, but it makes more sense that this was the case rather than the building of a tomb for a dead pharaoh that would contain enough masonry to build a wall that could span all around the world until it joins at either side. Just wait till you hear this. Mathematical calculations suggest that there is enough stone at the Giza Pyramid, the Great One, to build a continuous two feet high wall around the entire Earth. We will post the calculations below. Isn't this stunning though? It really makes you wonder that if this was built with slaves, then on what scale was this on? Quarrying the stone 400 miles away at Ashwan, shipping it down the Nile on tiny boats and laying one stone every two minutes for 25 years by a crack team of experts, the Nile must have been absolutely chock-a-block for a start. But the weight of the stones on the boats, getting them on and off, just how was this done? They must have literally had thousands of boats and millions of workers. It's crazy. It's absolutely off the charts and we really cannot stress this enough. Anyway guys, what do you make of the fact that there is enough stone at the Great Pyramid to build a continuous wall around the entire planet? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.